Close to home, we have breaking news on a disturbing discovery at Union Station. Someone drew dozens of swastikas all over the front of the station. The anti-Semitic vandalism found the morning after International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Our Scott Broom is live on the scene with more on the investigation and the cleanup at this hour. Hey there, Scott. Well, they haven't been able to clean it up so far. And what's been going on, if I can show you, please, uh, with my partner Dion behind the camera, uh, crews from uh, building facilities here at Union Station have been out covering up the vandalism uh, as best they can with plastic and paper, while Amtrak police, who are responsible for this building, and Metropolitan Police have confirmed to us they are now investigating this uh, as a crime. Uh, these are the universally recognized hate symbol of the swastika, along with some graffiti uh, that is uh, pro profane and uh, mentions former President Obama. And what's notable about this vandalism incident is that there are at least, I've counted, uh, 50 or more of these spread from one end of the building all the way to the other. So. It begs the question among many of the people I've spoken with passing through the station uh, today, how could this have happened uh, overnight uh, up and down the entire building? Why didn't somebody associated with security in this building recognize this was going on whenever it was occurring? This uh, emerged overnight in this morning. Uh, why weren't they able to stop it? That's the question a lot of people I've spoken with today uh, uh, have been asking and also people expressing uh, how sad this incident is and other people expressing it is clearly hate uh, and it is potentially intimidating. So it's being investigated right now as crews uh, try to cover it up and eventually clean it up. Reporting live at Union Station, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Incredibly disturbing and you have to wonder how long it must have taken someone to draw 50 or more swastikas out there and how no one else saw what was going on. All right. Thanks so much, Scott.